pull up the settings menu, go to the apps, and look for the gear, which is labeled settings. The first option is Wi-Fi. If your board is not hardwired to the internet, you can add it to Wi-Fi by clicking on Wi-Fi and locate the Wi-Fi in your area. If you're connected to an ethernet cord, it should pop up and show you the information on that. When you're connected by ethernet, you have the ability to create a wireless hotspot. The wireless hotspot is when you're using CleverShare and you're connected to the ethernet. If you're on Wi-Fi, you will not need that wireless hotspot. The Bluetooth option allows you to connect Bluetooth mice and Bluetooth keyboards to your board so you don't need to go up to the board to touch it. The display option allows you to change your wallpaper. You can also add a screensaver and have your screen go to sleep. By clicking on wallpaper, you can choose between live wallpapers and wallpapers. Live wallpapers will move, wallpapers are just still images. Sound allows you to turn on and off the touch sounds when you interact with the board. It also allows you to choose what speakers you would like to use. When you first get your board, and if you run into issues of downloading applications from the Clever Store, you're going to want to go into Apps, go under Clever Store, and you're going to want to make sure the Install Unknown Apps is turned on to Allow. This allows applications from the Clever Store to be downloaded to your Clever Touch board. If it's toggled off, you will not be able to download applications. All Clever Touch boards come with an admin account. So when you first receive your Clever Touch board, you're going to be on an admin account. You can find that under the account section in settings. If you'd like to add an account, if you have multiple teachers using your Clever Touch board, you can add multiple accounts. Those accounts would then be saved with a passcode and that user could get on and have the same settings and the same files that they had prior. So if it's a shared board, that add account feature is a nice option. You'll always wanna keep the admin account on it as that's gonna give you all of the options with settings. When you add additional accounts, the setting options decrease because you're not an ad, just an admin account. When you have multiple accounts set up on your Clever Touch board, you'll be able to use the lock option. And this is if you're ready to switch users. So you're gonna choose the option lock on the homepage. And then you'll select your user that will be using the board. Once you select the new user, you type in your passcode and you are now in the user's interface. Since I only have one account on this board, I only have the admin, so then there's no passcode and I can quickly get back into it. To change the date and time, choose date and time. You can also set the color of the time on the front page. To run an update on the board, you're gonna to wanna to select about device. And to the right of system update, you should see check for updates. Click on check for updates and that will check for firmware updates. This information is also important as an admin to keep track of each board. The big important things are your model number, your Android version. The Android version is gonna tell you what update you're on. When you wanna control what time your board is turning on and turning off, go into settings and click on start up and shut down. Under this option, it gives you your customization for when your board is starting up and when it's shutting down. The biggest one to remember is that timer switch so you can set your Clever Touch board to turn off every day at a certain time. So that way it doesn't stay running over the weekend or over um, holiday breaks. 